Hi guys, I hope you're all well. It's currently Sunday the 30th of June 2019 and welcome to week 181 of my weight loss journey. In last week's video we all saw I maintained my weight at 164.5 kilograms which is 362.7 pounds or 25 stone 12.7 pounds which obviously meant my body mass index remained at 48.1. Just like I always do, I'm going to start the proceedings off by reviewing my calorie consumption for the past week, which we can see in the graph above. The average of this was 2,477 compared to the previous week at 2,777. So it is back within my allowance which this week, which I've been trying to do for the past two weeks relatively unsuccessfully, but I've achieved it this week. My fluid consumption has reduced from last week to 3,000. 389 millilitres, but it's still above that magic 3000 millilitres that I try to achieve on a daily basis. So another good result. But if I now move on to my step count, which we can also see in the graph above, the average of this was 8,284 compared to the previous week at 9,006. So it has obviously reduced from last week. I've tried to fit in as much walking as possible throughout the working week, Monday to Friday, but last Sunday and yesterday, Saturday is where the numbers kind of uh, were reduced quite dramatically. Um, yesterday it's simply due to a day trip down to Woodall Spa in Lincolnshire uh, in England and um, to see some friends. And I'm going to share this with you because I did get a pleasant surprise. You'll see. You'll see what, I see, what I'm talking about. The main reason for driving down to Woodall Spa yesterday was to meet up with some friends for afternoon lunch at the Petwood Hotel, which just for a quick history lesson was commandeered by the Royal Air Force during the last year or two of the Second World War to house the air and ground crew of the 617 Squadron, also famously known as the Dambusters Squadron, the famous bouncing bomb raids uh, during the Second World War. And during our afternoon lunch, we were all surprised and absolutely delighted when the last remaining airworthy Avro Lancaster bomber decided to have several flyovers of the Petwood Hotel. Now this is homage to their time when they were stationed here during the Second World War and every time the Avro Lancaster bomber goes out for air shows or the Battle of Britain Memorial flights, they always come back and do a flyover of the Petwood Hotel. Now it's my understanding that there are only two Avro Lancaster bombers currently remaining in the world. There's one in Canada and there's one obviously here in the UK and I believe it's only the one in the UK that is actually airworthy. Um, so it doesn't fly very often throughout the year. I think maximum it does 100 hours. Um, it's very expensive for obviously keeping the upkeep of this magnificent aircraft. Uh, so it mainly does air shows and the Battle of Britain Memorial flight and um, so it was a rarity to be able to see this multiple flybys by an Avro Lancaster.
It's that time of the week where we all get to see if I've managed to lose any more weight. So here it is guys, here's my Wayne. I weigh 165.2 kilograms, which is 364.2 pounds, or 26 stone 0.2 pound. This means in the last week, I've seen a gain of one and a half pound, or 0.7 kilogram. But if I compare this result to the result I obtained at Slimming World, you can see this right here. At Slimming World this week, I also saw a gain of one and a half pound, or 0.7 kilogram. This is the last thing I was expecting to see this week, because my calorie consumption was within its allowance, it's back on point. Okay, my fluid consumption did reduce slightly, but it's still above that magic 3000 milliliter mark. And my step count, although it did reduce, it's still, you know, a decent number. And I still fit in the gym on a Tuesday and Thursday evening, doing my 15 minutes on the bike, high resistance, and about 20, 30 minutes doing low weight, high repetition. Uh, and of course doing a five minute cool down on the treadmill. So seeing a gain result was the last thing I wanted and expected to see. Based on this week's weight gain result, it sees my body mass index go from 48.1 up to 48.3. And if we look at my third weight loss target, last week it was 55% complete, and after the gain, it goes down to 52.9% complete. So in the 181 weeks I've been doing this journey, I've lost a total of 177 pounds, which is 80.3 kilograms, or 12 stone, nine pounds. Next week, I'm just gonna persist through it and work on increasing my step count back to the recent 9,000 target that I set myself. My fluid consumption and calorie consumption is still technically on point, so there's no need to make any changes there. And of course, I'm gonna stick with the gym on a Tuesday and Thursday evening. And like I say, if I'm persisting through it, I'll hopefully see a decent weight loss result next week. But other than that, guys, that's it. That's the end of this week's video. As always, if you'd like to continue following me along my weight loss journey and hopefully get to see a lot less of me in the future, why don't you subscribe to my channel so you don't get to miss out on any future videos that I post. I wish you all a fantastic week and I'll see you all again next Sunday.